Welcome back to Cara Jo Plans. Today I'm going to be planning in my Liveridge Planner by the Budget Mom. And this will be the second week that I am planning in this for 2022. So let's just take a look back at how the first week turned out. So I used this kit from Life in Envelopes called Mittens. And I liked how everything worked out. I haven't, I'm still planning ahead. Um, so today is... December 31st, but I want to keep planning in here. Um, I like how this turned out. I think, though, I want to move some of the categories. So I think I want to move things around a little bit, but um, I think this planner is going to work for what I need it to. So this week... I'm going to use another Life in Envelopes kit. And this was kind of the outline for how many boxes I wanted for each. I'm going to keep that off to the side, but I'm going to move them around. So this week I got kit Miss Scarlet from Life in Envelopes. And this is a kit specifically for the Budget Mom Liveridge Planner small size. So this is customized to fit this planner. I got That's the Weekly Kit. And then these are Universal Full Boxes and it has a weekend banner and some flags on it. And then I also got the universal functional box sheet for that, and then I'm gonna be using um, some mini payday stickers. This was a freebie with one of the orders, but she does sell sheets of these payday stickers as well. So that's what I'm starting with, and then I have my binders full of my stickers too. But we're gonna get started with um, setting up the basic date headers and everything on this like I usually do. Um, yeah. So let's get started with that. I lose my breath whenever I see you. You stole my heart. What is it that you do? My life was great till you added color. Okay, so you can see I was kind of flipping back and forth a little bit just to see where I was putting stuff, and I did move stuff. So down here at the bottom, I had previously had meals and PM routine. Now what I want to do is I want to do meals and workout down there, and I think I'm going to put the PM routine like here, but I'm going to start up at the top marking off my blocks again. So the first block at the top I was doing for AM routine and then I wanted two for school and the kids. Yes. Okay, I want to keep that at the top. And 
and then three for work and home stuff. And then four for goals. One, two, three, four. And then one, two, three, four, for my Etsy shop and YouTube. And then the bottom, that 7.30 will be PM routine. Okay, so let's do the same lines on this side over here. And I think what I like about using this instead of like the Plum Paper ME Planner, all those boxes are the same size. So whereas if I'm using this hourly, I can divide my sections to the size that I need them. Like there are some things like CareJo plans that I need a bigger box for than workouts and meals. So I can make my boxes the size that works for me and I think that's going to work out really well. So then my last one will be down here at 6.30. Okay. So that's the basic outline. Now what I'm going to do is double check my monthly calendar um, where are we tenth so I'm gonna have let's see where's my event stickers I'm gonna have a nail appointment which is going to go and AM routine, kids, work and home. So that'll go there. The kids will have Taekwondo Thursday. Oh, that's really crooked. Let's try to straighten that one out a little better and then they will have no school on this day so I will work from home and I'm going to move this too I don't want that at the top. I want this down here. And then I'm going to put one of these flags for each of the work days. So Christmas is over and I am itching to put my decorations away. How many of you guys like to keep your decorations up or do you like to clean up as soon as Christmas is over? I am um, I'm waiting till New Year's Day. That's typically when I clean up. But this year, man, I, I really want to just take it down and get cleaned up. I don't know. The clutter is just really, really bugging me this year. Rather than enjoying the pretty Christmas tree lights, I just want to get the Christmas tree out of my living room. So that will happen tomorrow. I'll get all of that put away, and then I'll probably do kind of like a deep clean vacuum and dust on my house. All right, let's use one of these 
bigger quarter boxes, I guess they would be called, on Sunday for church. And then, I think what I'm gonna do for the weekends in the kids box is put my weekend banner because kind of anything that they have going on can go in this home section as well. So that way I can still get my weekend banner on there and still have everything else that I need. Um, and the other thing I wanted to put down was this sticker that covers this sidebar thing. I think it covers two. Let me see. I think last week I figured out if I match it to the bottom, it'll work better. Yeah, there we go. Okay. And then I think I put this on top of this. Okay, so I'm gonna slide these stickers out of the way, except for let's do the payday ones and just get this out of the way. This is a payday. And this is a payday. Okay, I'm gonna slide those out of the way for now. And then we're gonna start with the top box with the AM routine. And I think I've always enjoyed time blocking, so I think this is really kind of helping me break up my day a little bit, like putting all of my tasks into a certain category. That way I can do all of those things like house chores at once and they're not like just scattered throughout the day. I like to focus on one thing and get it done, if that makes sense. I don't like running around and switching my brain from home cleaning to cutting stickers to filling orders to making beds. I like to just do one thing at a time and get it done. My brain, on the other hand, likes to have a running to-do list, but that's another story. Okay, and then right while I'm on this page for these AM routine stickers, I'm going to do the PM ones too, since they're just one flips of sticker sheet away. And then I'm going to work from the top down on the day, I think. And I think what I'm gonna do with these PM routines, so I'm gonna use one of the hourly lines, and then if there's something else that needs to be added to the evening routine, um, I can squeeze that in there, like something, I don't know. I don't even know what I would have to add, but either way. So the countdown is on for us to go to Disney. All my dining reservations have been made. Uh, mouse ears have been ordered. And I'm just trying to decide what we'll need to wear. So I'm kind of looking up the weather in February in Florida. So if you guys have any tips on that, if you've been to Disney in February, kind of help me out there a little bit because I am not real sure. All right, and then I need, okay. So here I need a Taekwondo sticker and a no school sticker. So let's do Taekwondo. And then let's find no school. 
dun, 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 dun. I know I have some somewhere. In this pocket? They must be in this pocket too. Please hold. There they are. No school. Perfect. Okay, and then that leads me into work. And still working on finishing up these old scripts from Planner Kate. Almost done, look. I only have that many left. <laughs> there were a ton on this sheet. So we're getting rid of four of these this week. And then we'll do one work from home. Dun, dun. Don't do weather yet. And then we'll do. See, now I'm just starting to flip through the book. <laughs> we'll get it all planned out, I promise. All right, let's do my meal stickers down here. So my Etsy shop has been really picking up business. Um, I'd say probably the past five or six weeks, I've been really excited. Um, I have, I've had a slow start and I know that um, I started with the weekly kits last year and then I wasn't able to continue those. So my main product right now is the budget expense tracking stickers. And I do have some script stickers in there, but the budget tracking expense stickers are really like my main shtick. And um, the past six weeks, it's been, um, like every, before that, I would get maybe, I don't know, five or six orders a month. Right now, um, it's like I'm getting like one order a day on an average, which is kind of exciting. Um, it's picking up a little bit. Um, so that's exciting for me. I know I'm not a giant uh, 50 orders a day, this is my full-time job thing, but it's kind of exciting to have um, steady orders and having to keep up with keeping stuff in stock and it's just been really nice so I'm kind of excited for that and I do with this new plan hope to expand my offerings I don't know whether I'll do more colors of the budget stickers or go back into trying to make weekly kits or something but I think I'm going to be able to do a little bit more with it um, bum, 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 bum. See, and here's where it's getting sketchy. So I'm flipping through stuff and I don't have chores planned out yet. So that part's kind of hard. So there's church. Um, nails. So that's self-care. So maybe my sticker organization that I did a couple weeks ago isn't the best. I might have to reorder my categories a little bit. I still like having the categories, but I think maybe my categories need to line up more with how I'm planning in this planner. So I might have to reorder some of the categories a little wee bit. And then my Bible studies. These aren't going to match, and that's okay. I just want to get these all used up so that I can be done with them. So I'm just going to start at the top of the page and pull them off. Whatever color they are, they are. I don't like to waste a sticker. 
so what I'm doing, why I'm putting Bible study on each page is this year I am committing to the um, read the Bible in a year and I have a plan printed out. I know there's a couple different ones out there if you just Google Bible in a year. You can do some where you're reading just straight front to back. You can do some where you read a little bit of Old Testament, um, a little bit of New Testament, and a little bit of like Psalms and Proverbs, I think, every day. There's a bunch of different options for that. Um, and I honestly don't remember which one I picked. I think I did beginning to end just straight through either that or I did like the chronological, um, which kind of moves some of the books in the Old Testament around a little bit. So we'll have to see once I start getting into it. I start tomorrow, but I really want to commit to that. Um, I've started it so many times and believe me, I'm an expert on Genesis, but I never follow through and finish it. So that's kind of frustrating and that's kind of where I want to go for my goal for this year. Um, and then I also want to put one of these nail stickers on here because it's cute. Okay, so that is the home category. And then the next one was chores and goals goes in this next block. So let me see. I kind of prepped this here, but I don't have my goals quite ready yet. So I think that whole spot is going to be more of a day-to-day -day planning thing. So once I get through my chores and my goals, which I don't even have on this here, um, then I'll plan the week. So I want to keep that current and up to where my progress is. And then down here for the carriage o plans, let me get let me get my schedule, my filming schedule out and that kind of stuff to see what days I need to be filming. Okay, so this is the week of the tenth. Okay. So I think what we'll do, I'm going to try to make this as consistent as I can, as Tuesday is a filming day, and then, let's see, what, what videos do I have? Tuesday would be a filming day, and then let's make... Wednesday an edit day and then I'll list whatever videos I need to film and edit okay and then let's see okay so I think I might be able to get all my weekly videos filmed in one day so we're gonna find out <laughs> We're going to find out. And then I would like... You know what I'm going to do with this? I'm going to do this. I'm going to put a carriage plan sticker on the side here. And I might make some for that. Um, and then let's do... I like to fill orders on specific days as well. So let's do fill orders on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Whoa, I'm losing my tweezers. All right. So that be that for now. Still trying to get my life together. And then I think what I did was I took Friday and Sunday off. So I used some full boxes down here. So let's see. Oh, this is pretty. 
let's find a way that we can use this. But it's not going to fit in there, but I can put it down here because I think that is really pretty. And I don't use too much of this side over here, so I like that. That's gorgeous. And then let's use this one. Why can't I line this up? There we go. Use that one and we'll trim that. And then we'll use this one and trim this. did here. If I cut through it enough. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. So look how cute that is. Okay, so I feel like I'm kind of getting in a groove here um, with this and I don't have my, the, my workouts going to go right here above my meals. I don't have this week planned with workouts yet. Um, I'm still working on, I want to mix in some stretch and strength training as well. So I don't want to just do cycling, but I want to get consistent first. So I'm going to experiment this week. I'm doing what? One, two, three, four bike rides and three stretches. And then once I see how that goes, I'll fill some more of this in and then I'll fill you in once I get this week done. So this is my week for January 10th through the 16th. Thank you guys so much for watching. This was really fun to put together for you guys. I hope you like it and have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.